And the media, their henchmen and the Caribbean pros in the media, some of them were here tonight. And the PNC, they for months they said protest. That luncheon shouldn't have said that. That luncheon was talking about violence. But luncheon knew that we were going to drop their backs. But we would do it. It wasn't just Corbyn who disappeared, the PNC. It is a PPP civic progress in Guyana. And us bringing together all of our people because the arms of the PPP have been held wide open for everyone. Because it has never been close to people of based on their race or their religion or their gender. This is why we feel confident that this is the party to take the country forward. This is why we feel confident that our country has a long way to go. So let me tell you, last week I suspended CN Sharma on the basis of a report that came to me from the ACB. And the ACB is made up of a member of the PNC, a member from the private sector, and one from the government. They recommended six months minimum suspension. Sharma came and he was crying. You see all the big talk on TV. He was in crying in my office. He and his wife, cry like a baby. All this big mouth on TV and voice of the people and all this nonsense. He was being suspended for. He was being suspended not because he criticized Edgehill, but because the broadcast on his station was to spread enmity, race, and religious hate between Hindus and Christians, between Pentecostals and Catholics. And we said we're not going to allow that anymore in this country. We're not going to allow religion. That is what we fight for in the PBB. So, not a word from the vulture media. Some of the Demar waves, etc. about that. They made it as though it's a personal issue. It's about elections. That somehow we are afraid of Sharma station. Sharma ran against us in the past. He got 200 votes in the past. We're not afraid of Sharma. This powerful PBB would ever But the others, let me tell you, the others have seen a chance to back away from the elections. They have seen the writing on the wall that it's going to be another overwhelming PPP civic victory. So they're talking about boycott. And they're saying that the results might be tainted. It wouldn't be a fair election. defeat because they will be defeated, defeated massively, all of them combined by this PPP civic government and PPP civic. So what I decided to do is that I will allow Sharma 